welcome back to my channel it's coach Jelena and I'm back in the building if you guys have no idea who I am my name is coach Jelena and I specialize in online growth strategies for entrepreneurs in the hair beauty or boutique industry so if you need assistance within your journey of entrepreneurship or you don't essentially know what to do next to elevate the growth of your business make sure you go ahead and book a free discovery call with myself and we can come up with a plan to get you on the right track with your business but before we jump directly into this video i want you guys you guys to go ahead and join the wait list for the upcoming course launch that i'm in the process of launching and by you joining the wait list unlocks exclusive free content along with early bird prices and specials when launch day happens other than that don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you aren't already come join the party come join the sisterhood but other than that we're just going to jump right into this video so obviously you're here because you need to figure out how to essentially stand out from your competitors how to deal with being in an oversaturated industry or marketplace and I got some answers for you. So within this video, I'm going to give you guys three essential tips to standing out compared to other brands. So the first tip, so tip one that I'm going to go ahead and give you guys is give away your industry knowledge. And what I mean by that is, so hear me out for a second. What I mean is you need to become an expert expertise in your particular field or industry so like I said I only work with people in the hair beauty and boutique industry so if you're in one of the three industries you need to become an expert within that industry if you have a hair company you need to know all the ins and outs when it comes to hair you need to do extensive research on the products that you're offering the services that you're offering now the reason that this is important is because when you're knowledgeable in a specific industry it showcases through the content that you upload how you speak and how you essentially promote your products so that's number one become an expert and know what you're selling and do extensive research tip two is what i like to call the pno method now i'll break that all down for you don't worry p stands for personality i want you guys to always remember different approach and styles resonate with different people so if you're in this oversaturated hair industry you need to figure out the personality behind the brand to resonate with the target demographics that you essentially want to become customers of your business and the more you understand who you're essentially selling to will help with the creative drive of your business to showcasing that brand's voice, brand's identity, brand's personality through your actual content. So you meet people and come across customers that actually want to show up for your business or rather support your business. Now the N in p &O stands for niching down. And I know you guys are probably on the other end of the screen like, girl, I'm part of the hair industry. I'm part of the cosmetic industry. I've already niched down. No, you need to niche all the way down. And what I mean by that is identify the passion that you have within the particular business industry that you're in. So if you're in the hair industry, do you genuinely like making wigs or do you genuinely like just selling hair? It's important to identify your specific passion when niching down and finding the problem that you can ultimately solve. Because realistically, if I was to order hair from you, yes you, what problem will you be able to solve within my life, within my aesthetic look that I would want to order from you opposed to Jill who has a very popular hair company once you have an understanding of identifying your passion and finding the problem that you can solve you need to be able to put your money where your mouth is so if you advertise how you have this amazing product maybe you have affordable hair or affordable cosmetics or clothing I need to be able to see that through the actual product so niching down is extremely important because realistically as a brand a brand is value and behind that value to have generational wealth you need to be able to showcase something different compared to everyone else around you and i'm gonna be honest with you there's hundreds thousands probably even millions of hair companies out there some doing well some on the breaking point you as the business owner need to be able to differentiate the qualities that your brand has to offer opposed to everyone else or all your other competitors now the O in p o stands for offer what essentially could you do different from your other competitors 
And what I mean by this is when someone is coming to your website or signing up to your newsletter or interested in doing any type of support for your business, you need to be able to offer them some type of opt-in form. And what that essentially means is you need to be able to offer them some type of perk to get them interested in what your business has to offer. And that opt-in form or perk can be things like discounts on first orders, money off on first orders, special gifts with first orders, special gifts with any orders, or even a point system. And what I mean by that is offering something along the terms of if you order from my hair company three consistent times, you'll get a free closure or a free bundle or some type of free merchandise to entice people to actually want to order from you and then keep ordering from you. Because something that I want you guys to know, a lot of the times in business, people always focus on new customers, new clients, new services, new products, new collections, when realistically, if you satisfy all of your customers, there's no reason that they won't come back. And that's what essentially creates generation wealth and an actual support system on social media when it comes to your business online presence. Tip three is going to be adding the human element to your business or your brand. I know I'm tired and I know y'all tired or exhausted by ads selling you something. No matter if you're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Ads are everywhere and it's always someone trying to sell and a lot of the times remove yourself from the entrepreneur's perspective and think about being the customer on the other end. People want to feel connected to your brand. People want to know who the owner is, who's running this business. How, can I trust the owner? So by you showcasing your brand's voice, your brand's identity through advertising and showing that human touch behind your brand, a lot of people would be more enticed to actually showing interest in your product, your brand and all that good stuff. And if you guys need assistance in strategizing for the online growth of your business, make sure that you do click that booking link and book a free call with me and we can can work one on one together to figure out the problem solving solutions that need to occur within your business so you do see overall growth when it does come to your numbers your profitable growth your revenue but other than that if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up your girl it helps me it helps the algorithm it helps allow my videos to come across different entrepreneurs that are experiencing some of the same things you could possibly ex be experiencing and allow an easy free way to help viewers. But other than that, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.